there is something that will happen when you allow yourself to be present with another human in person and have a meaningful conversation that had boundaries and respect and understanding going into it. Um, it's like magic. It can be. Let's talk about guest interviews in a studio. There is a huge energy shift between a Zoom remote recording, pick whatever platform you want, and an in-person recording. And part of that is just being humans and being in each other's space and seeing each other. Like we know the difference because we all just lived through a pandemic that required us to social distance and we felt the loss. So I don't need to like really convince you of that. But what is probably maybe not obvious to you if you haven't ever recorded episodes in a studio with guests is from the second they walk in the door, the environment actually matters a lot because instead of them being at their office or their house on their laptop that they know in their home office, you know, they're, they're not going to be in their kind of like home environment. And so their energy is automatically different. Now, obviously, if you meet together at a studio versus like your home, there is going to be the energy of the studio and it actually does matter. I have for years before we had our studio in Salt Lake City, I would try to help clients find studio space in different cities that they were trying to record in in person with guests. And I was always trying to do a vibe check, which is kind of challenging if you're looking online, to be honest, I, you've probably tried. It's hard to do a vibe check of a physical space like a studio oh, remotely, just looking at like photos and maybe if you're lucky, a video. But... <laughs> there is a vibe to a studio. And so you are gonna wanna obviously choose your studio wisely, obviously visit it in person, try to do your absolute best to like get to know the audio engineer and the owner and the people who are gonna be around. Like that matters, that affects the energy of the conversation you have and the client, the client, the guest experience, slipping into business owner as I'm trying to be a producer here. It all affects your energy and I know that I'm kind of leaning into this. Maybe you're like, Christine, you made the point. But I think it's the most underappreciated element of a good recording as a show host when they don't prioritize the energy that is created between the guest and the host. And a big part of that is the environment. So not only the physical space that you're in, but the actual energy of the other people who are going to be there supporting, you know, usually it's like the studio manager or the producer or the audio engineer. If you're filming it, that's going to be, you know, the person shooting video. So get to know the crew, get to know this team at the studio that you use, build a relationship with them let them know what your show is about and that you have like an energy and a vibe and an intention that you would like to be created anytime you record there. Um, that's, that's important and it's totally reasonable to build that into the relationship with the studio that you're using because it will affect your show and it will affect your guest experience because you're the host. So you're kind of like the source of it all and they will look to you as the source of everything even if it's subconscious, they're totally associating you with the experience they're having. <laughs> okay. So that's tip number one, really just get to know the studio, get to know the crew, make sure it fits with your vibe and your energy and the intention of your show. Uh, another thing that I would say is get there a little early, um, just because you want to kind of be a welcoming environment before your guest arrives, if possible, obviously. Um, and when your guest arrives, like greet them truly like you're inviting them into your home. I happened to work on a show that was literally filmed in my client's home. So the studio was in his home and that was one and the same. And I can tell you from years of experience and hundreds of episodes recorded in that studio, the guests felt it the second they walked in the door. They were like, oh, wow. They would comment on it all the time. Like, this is your home. Like, wow, it feels really good in here. Like that you could just see them relaxing and kind of feeling like, Oh wow, this is really nice. Like you invited me to your home. Like you have these good people, you know, taking care of you. Someone's offering me coffee. Someone's asking me if I need water. You know, we're, we're sitting down in these nice chairs. There's a view. We're chit chatting. Like it's a hospitality experience. In my experience, being a show host is a hospitality experience, and that absolutely is reflected in the quality of episodes you record. Okay, so that's kind of number two. Get there early, 
welcome your guests, invite them like you're inviting them into your home, make sure they're taking care of um, little things, offering them water, offering if they need to go to the bathroom, it, you know, do they need a snack? Do they need coffee? Do they need caffeine? Like just the little extra mile of offering things like that to kind of cover someone's basic physical needs is super helpful because once you start recording, ideally you're not going to be interrupted. And if they have to pee the whole time because you forgot to offer, or they forgot to ask about the bathroom or they're thirsty the whole time or they're, um, lagging in energy because they skipped coffee and they need a pick me up like that is super helpful to provide for them. So do a quick, like physical needs, nourishment, check in. And then another thing to keep in mind, sort of moving on to step number four in creating a great studio experience as a show host is, um, doing a slight verbal check-in before you start recording. So let's say I was sitting here, my guest was sitting right here that you can't see, but this is the other chair in our audio nook in our studio. Um, like I would sit here and I would chat with them before we started recording and just check in and be like, Hey, I'm so grateful you're here. Thanks for making the trip. Thanks for making the effort, like acknowledge them for making time in their schedule. Cause it's a different investment. If they've taken time to physically travel to you, um, how are you doing? Like, is there anything going on that you need support with? Is there anything you want to talk about? Is there anything you don't want to talk about on this episode? Like really what you're creating is permission to have a really good conversation and to understand the boundaries of it. Now, obviously, if you know the person pretty well, you might already have rapport. So that might be kind of, you already know, I would still do it anyway, because it's a different interaction you're about to have that's going to be recorded and put on the internet. (laughs) So just understand what you're asking someone to do, especially if you're filming, you want to make sure they feel comfortable with the shot and they understand that it's being filmed and they feel comfortable with the cameras and the lights and the microphones, like just check in with them as like a decency and a respect moment before you start recording. And people really appreciate that. And it creates a lot of vulnerability and a lot of trust, especially when you ask, is there anything that soft limits you don't want to talk about? Is there anything you're really excited about that you want to make sure we cover or promote, right? Like a lot of times people will come on your show when they're doing a book launch or they have a cool new event coming up or something they want to invite people to. They're doing a press tour. So just figure out what's important to them right now. Make sure you're allowing them an opportunity to share that. And then you record and just be as present as you possibly can, which should be easier than if you were on zoom or at your home studio, because you have a lot less distractions. You're obviously not at your home computer in your normal environment. Um, it goes without saying that your cell phones will not be distracting you and they're silenced and put away, but the quality of interaction you will have when you record with a guest in person in a studio will be unlike any other remote recording you may have done by and large, I'm sure there's exceptions, but like there is something that will happen when you allow yourself to be present with another human in person and have a meaningful conversation that had boundaries and respect and understanding going into it. Um, it's like magic. It can be, I've seen it happen many times in front of my very eyes where I was, you know, sitting a foot off camera and two really cool people were having a conversation that I knew in the moment that it was happening, I was like, wow, this is going to impact literally hundreds of thousands of people in a good way. So that is the magic. And that's why hosts come to studios. That's why they pony up and pay a little more and invest in better, you know, environments and gear, um, at a studio level because the quality is just different in a better way.